Hello everybody, my name is Vexilla and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your own lobby in Thugbro. Uh, it's quite simple. As you can see, there's a lot of servers. A lot of servers people are hosting. There's Alec, wow. There's just a lot of servers that you can see. And you can host a server by going to host server. Uh, host lobby. And you can rename it whatever. Woo. <laughs> I don't know. And then you can change the level to whatever you want. You mostly probably want a uh, level that's ported to this game or a create a park because most custom levels people don't have. Mo well, people use, like, a lot of people have Venice HD, uh, the Larxian maps, uh, like Baltimore, Philly, and Washington, D.C. But I'm just going to put it to some random uh, map, like Los Angeles. Keep it at 8, unless you want to just host with a couple friends. And then you can just like put a password. And then, yeah. You can allow script mods if you want people to like have mods. Like if they were flying around, having infinite butt slaps, or whatever. If you want those, then you allow that for people to use. Um, Teams is obviously teams for teams for four game modes like T. It I almost said team death match. Uh, now trick attack, combo wombo, capture the flag. The skill level doesn't matter, so don't worry about that. And uh, I would just say to keep the observers. Okay, now I'm in a lobby that I created, and you can start a game. You can put it to any of these game modes. But goal attack is completely different. Uh, it's it's just like classic mode, but you try to race to get all of them done. All the Thug 2 levels have these uh, like complete, but not the ones that are outside of this game because it'll just set it to a random thing and then just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not really made for the game. Like this game mode isn't really made for the for the maps that were ported into this mod. Host options, you can change the server options in there. Game modifiers, you can disable stuff if you want and add cheats, but I suggest that you don't do that unless you're just like trying to goof around so with some friends um, because nobody likes to just normally have these where you're in moon gravity. Oh, I just put them on. Let me turn uh, right as someone joined because nobody likes those if you're trying to play the game normally. The host options change the daytime. Uh, there's some levels where you can change uh, what's like different parts of the map. Like you can put on or off some uh, four butt slaps. Did I just hop as well? What just happened? Okay, so I did four butt slaps. Let me go back to the game. Uh, I can make it so that it's an auto server so that every whatever moment you can make it so that it has a thing to where it's like specific game modes. Auto servers mainly for if you want to keep the server alive, but you're also going to be AFK for a little bit. That's what I, that's what it's mainly used for. And then obviously you can change maps. I'm still not done with that four butt slaps thing. How am I supposed to get over that? I literally did four butt slaps. I've only done that once before. And it was like completely out of the blue because I wasn't even spamming the button. What am I doing? Whatever that was. 
was. But I think you understand now. If you're host and you exit the lobby, then the whole lobby closes. You can't swap the the lobby or the host options or whatever to someone else. That's pretty much it. Yeah. My name is Vexillion, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.